In this problem, we're going to take a look at a linear equation that has several steps we need to follow in order to find out what variable x represents. We want this equation to equal 5, and so we're going to balance on the equal sign. And to find out what x needs to be, we're going to follow several steps. The first thing we like to do, though, is to take this entire left side and simplify it as much as possible before we start solving. We know that when simplifying, we like to distribute through parentheses. That's always a good place to start as we solve these linear equations. Distributing through will give us 12x minus 15. Remember, as we distribute, the negative comes with it. Negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x, and negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 equals 5. After distributing, the next thing I always look for is, can I combine like terms? Sure enough, 12x minus 8x is 4x, and negative 15 and negative 4 is negative 19, which is equal to 5. So all we've done so far is kind of cleaned up the left side of the equation as much as we can. Notice once the left side is all cleaned up, we end up with a two-step equation. We know to solve a two-step equation, we take those 19 negatives and get rid of them with 19 positives on both sides. As we do, we end up with 4x equals 24. Finally, we can get the x alone. Right now, it's 4 times x by dividing both sides by 4 to get x equals 6. We can always check our answer to make sure it works by replacing both of the x's with 6 in the original problem and seeing if we get a true statement. Will that really equal 5 if the x is equal to 6? Well, let's try it. The original problem was 3 times 4x, which is 6, minus 5, minus 4 times 2x, which is 6, plus 1, and we're hoping that will equal 5 when we're done. We don't know yet. Let me buy us a little bit more room. And as we use the order of operations, we have to simplify in the parentheses first, doing multiplication first. So we have 3 times 24 minus 5, minus 4 times 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1. We're hoping that's equal to 5. We're getting closer. Finishing the parentheses will give us 3 times 19, minus 4 times 13, and we're hoping that equals 5. When we do the multiplication from left to right, 3 times 19 is 57, minus 4 times 13 is 52, and we hope that equals 5, and sure enough, 57 minus 52 is 5. It really does equal 5 when x is equal to 6. We have found the number that when plugged in for this missing value x, we get a true equation. It really does equal 5 when x is equal to 6.